So what is that one thing that you as a prepper or you as just a regular individual can never be totally prepared for? What could it be? Could it be you don't have enough food? No, that isn't it. It could it be you don't have go bags and stuff that are ready to go? No, that's not it either. It, maybe it's uh, your gear and all your different types of supplies and stuff that maybe you do have. No, that's not it either. We can all be prepared for all of those type of things and everything else. People are probably thinking, well, it's maybe first aid. You know, we don't have enough first aid. We're not prepared for that type of emergency. You're close. Something that you cannot be prepared for in any type of situation, rather it's a normal day life, a grid down situation, as SHTF situation, whatever it may be, there are only one thing that you could not be really prepared for to deal with when it does arrive. And what I'm talking about today is preparing yourself for a family member that all of a sudden takes a turn for the worse and there's nothing you can do but try to keep them comfortable do whatever it is that you can do to try and make their lives a little bit easier the stress level that you are going through at that point in time is extremely high the mental anguish that you are going to be going through during that period of time also is very high you see because as humans, you know, we want to try to fix things. We want to try to make sure that we can do things. We want to take care of our families. We want to do all these things. But there are certain times when we can't do anything and it's very hard to sit back and watch when someone is failing. Now, as a lot of my community members may know, and if you're new to the channel, uh, we are going through that particular situation right now uh, with my wife's mother. Now she does live with us and we are taking care of her to the best of our ability. It is very difficult sometimes, it's very strenuous sometimes because you're doing all you can do to try to help out and make sure that you know she's as comfortable as possible and you're doing everything in your power to make sure that that is happening. Back to my point in any given situation, it is a very difficult situation once you're in it. A lot of people say, oh, you know, I can handle it. You know, I've, you know, I've done this or I've read this and everything else. Once you're thrown into that situation and there is nothing you can do to reverse anything or to make somebody better, no matter how hard you try or what you do or all these different things, that is a very, very difficult pill to swallow. You can always be prepared in your daily lives. You can always be prepared in your preps, your food, your water, your medical, your go bags, your gear, um, all this kind of stuff. You can be prepared to the max. But when this happens, it's a very, very hard thing to deal with. And if it is say your your spouse or your you know it's your own parent or whoever it's very hard when those type of situations pop up and you don't have the answers and you know no matter what I do I can't fix it I can't make anything better the only thing that you can do especially like if it with my wife is her mother the one thing that you can always do is be there to support her in any way, shape, or form. To try to do anything that you have to do to take any stress off of your loved one. Now, it could be a reverse role. It could be you, and it's your, your husband, and say it's his mother or father or whatever. It doesn't matter whichever way you want this to go. The trick is, is you've got to be ready and you gotta be thinking on your feet because not only are you trying to help take care of the loved one, but you are also trying to take care of your 
spouse, uh, it could be another family member, your brother, your sister, you know, whoever is having a really difficult time with this, you know, you're, you're trying to manage all these different things and it gets very stressful. Uh, your mental capabilities are just like stressed to the max because you're thinking of any way that you can make the situation a little bit better for everybody that's involved. And as a prepper, that is something that we are always trying to do, especially when it comes to family members. But you have to remember one thing, folks. You have to try to be like, you're looking outside the box. You're trying to visualize, think of what is going to happen next. So you're trying to stay ahead of the curveball, And it gets very difficult in these types of situations. These are very hard pills to swallow when it's a loved one and there's nothing that you can do. In this video here, I just wanted to bring awareness to the one major thing that no matter how well you're prepped, no matter how well you're ready, no matter how well you think you're ready to deal with everything that has to be done in a moment's notice, if tragedy strikes or anything else, there is always that one thing that is going to push you to your physical mental limit that you have to try to overcome and you have to try to keep a calm head and try not to let it overwhelm you if you are trying to help others out. It's very hard, it's very difficult. It is a very, very hard pill to swallow, like I said. So on that note, I'd like to let, let everybody know then my mother-in-law, she is stable at the moment. She has been bedridden now. She can no longer walk. Um, she is pretty delirious and things of this nature. She isn't herself anymore. Uh, she doesn't really eat much. Uh, she drinks a little bit, but that's about it. And, you know, we're just trying to keep her comfortable. And I thank everybody for all your prayers and uh, everything, all the comments and everything, it's been great. Uh, my wife really does appreciate it. She did tell me to tell everybody. She said thank you very much. It means a lot to her and I appreciate it. Uh, it, does, it does make me feel really good that people generally still care out there. There's a group of people out there that still care what happens to your fellow man. Because, you know, with the times that we live in and you know, when I start doing my videos again, we got a lot of stuff to talk about. But in the times that we live in right now, your family and your close friends and stuff are the most important thing that you can be clinging to right now and making sure that everybody is aware of all the chaos that is going on. So with that being said, I would like to just say thank you once again for being patient with me while I've been gone. I'd like to try to get my live streams back up next Saturday night at 7 p.m. That's what I'm shooting for. We're going to do it an hour earlier. I have to change the time because of the situation that I'm in right now. So we're going to move it back to 7 o'clock. And uh, I want to start rolling out some videos and stuff. So I'm going to try to get back into it as much as possible with everything that's going on. I do have to return to work this coming week. I've been off for two weeks and I have a lot of great ideas. There is a ton of stuff I can do videos on right now because the world has gone mad. And but I just wanted to bring this quick video today and just let everybody know that there is that one thing that no matter what you do or how you prepare, you really have to think about that one main situation. There's no books you can read. There's no, um, there's no manuals to tell you what to do. There's no prep that can make anything better. But you have to make sure that your mind is being ready for when that starts to occur because it's going to be a huge stress on you. Whether it is good times, bad times, whatever, it's going to be a very, very hard pillow to swallow. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time, I'm out.